All right, Brian, thank you. We're continuing to follow a story we first told you about last week. A teenage boy hit and killed by a car late Thursday night. Yeah, it happened near North Cumberland and East 10th Street. Today, Fox 59's Claire Curry sat down with the boy's aunt to speak about the push to hold the driver in this case accountable. Family of Wilberto Rivera say that these last few days have been some of the hardest yet, but knowing that he will be forever 14, they say is even harder. Monday evening, the Riveras had to make the difficult decision to take Wilberto off of life support. The halls were lined with people who he touched. When we did the honor walk for him when he passed away, um, Raleigh said it was the biggest honor walk they had ever had. And I could believe that because if anybody could bring a crowd, it would be him. As of today, the city of Indianapolis has now had 25 fatal hit and runs, the highest in recent years. Ironically, before this touched my family, I had mentioned to my sister, I was like, it seems like it's a lot of hit and runs lately. And she said the same thing. It's like it's like nonstop. IMPD tells us a person of interest has been identified and interviewed. However, no arrests have been made. Police want to stress the importance of staying at the scene of a crash because those first few seconds could be life or death. Imagine that that victim is your family member and what would you want someone to do for them, right? Um, those seconds count for their lives and getting them to a hospital in, in a quick fashion is imperative. Law enforcement adds that this case has been sent to the Marion County Prosecutor's Office to review. They were able to pull some data regarding two frequent charges with hit and runs. Since 2022, Marion County has convicted 27 individuals for leaving the scene of an accident and 19 for failing to remain at the scene. Wilberto's aunt hopes the driver in his case will also be held responsible. We have to do better. And I'm going to be a part of that to help do better. His family and all those people that showed up at the hospital, we want better, not just for him, for anybody else that has to go through this. Reporting in Indianapolis, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News.